Hello everyone, welcome to the part 2 of OSI reference model. So uh, we will see the outcomes uh, first. So upon completion of this session, you will be able to understand the services provided by the application layer, the services offered by the presentation layer and the services offered by the session layer. So here today we uh, have to only focus on the application layer, presentation layer and the session layer. So uh, now see the first one that is the application layer. So uh, this application layer enables the user to access the network resources. So uh, if, if we suppose that there are two devices, device A and device B, if a device A want to send the data to the device B, then uh, how it is going on to send the data? So there will be a, some application on the device A and that application send the data to the device B and uh, there is some application in this that send the data from one devices to the other devices to access the network resources. Now we will see what are the services provided by the application layer. So, uh, so the services which is provided by the application layer uh, are the three. First one is file transfer and access management, second one mail services and third one is the directory services. So first of all see the file transfer and the access management. So it enables the user uh, to file transfer and access management. Uh, so uh, if we consider there are two devices local computer and remote computer. So uh, if uh, we want a data fr uh, from a local computer. So local computer can uh, transfer this data to the remote computer through the file transfer. Uh, then second one is the mail services. So in this the user who is working on this uh, device. If we uh, consider two device again uh, device A and device B then the user who is working on the device A can access the mail on the device B. Uh, and the third one that is the directory services. So in the directory services uh, may use uh, it provide the access to the data globally. So far uh, we have uh, seen the application layer. Now we will move on the presentation layer. So uh, the presentation layer it is generally concerned with the syntax and semantics of the information exchange between the two systems. So in this, the syntax means the structure or the format of the message that is being sent. So for example, we can consider if a number of beats are flowing. So uh, what does the first 8 bit represent? What the second bit, uh, second 8 bit represent? So this kind of structure or the format that is the syntax part of the presentation layer. Now moving toward the semantics, uh, so semantics means it refers, uh, it refers to the meaning of each section. So if a message has a five section, so uh, we can see what is the meaning of the first section, what is the meaning of the second section and that is all addressed as a semantic part. So. Uh, as you are seeing this the services which is provided by the translation uh, sorry presentation layer are translation second one encryption and third one is the compression. So uh, now see the first one service which is provided by the presentation layer. So the translation is nothing but the converting the data into a common format where a common format is acceptable by the both side that is the sender and by the receiver. So we can say that translation means converting the data into a common format and uh, in this uh, this common format it is acceptable by the both side at the sender side and the receiver side. Now see the second one services which is provide, uh, provided by the presentation layer that is the encryption. So in this uh, Generally, it converts the original message encryption. Is, it is the process in which it converting the original message into the unreadable message and it is called as a compression. So if sender does the encryption and sends the data 
then the receiver does the description and understand what is the messages now see the third one service which is provided by the presentation layer that is the compression so it is very important uh, when we send the multimedia messages so multimedia messages means what messages with audio video images animation text etc so this compression uh, it uh, generally reduces the number of bits including in the information uh, so uh, far so far we are seeing the application layer and the presentation layer now move on to the next layer that is the session layer so the session layer it generally uh, establish maintain synchronize the interaction among the communicating devices so uh, the basically the two services are provided by the session layer first one is the dialog control and uh, second one is the synchronization so in the dialog control uh, we can say that if a if a two devices want to communicate with each other then we can say that the processes in these devices they also want to communicate so this communication will be either done on the half duplex way that is the one way communication or in a full duplex way that is the two way communication so this type of activity it is called as a dialog control now see the next one services which is provided uh, by the session layer that is the synchronization so synchronization means a session layer allows a process to add a checkpoints or synchronization point so if we consider an one example if the 2000 pages will be sent from source to destination and uh, it is advisable to add the checkpoints after every 100 pages then uh, to ensure that the 100 pages will be received that acknowledges independently okay so in this case what will happen if and crash happen then uh, if and crash happen in this transmission uh, or during the transmission of a particular page then only that page can be resend because of the checkpoints so this is uh, the synchronization part Uh, so far we have seen the services which is provided by the application layer presentation layer and session layer thank you for watching